there are different paths that you can take uh, but in this case I am uh, going for the app builder path so uh, first before you can get the MCSD you have to get a certification called MCSA MCSA Microsoft Microsoft Certified Solution Association, Association, something like that. And to get those, you have two options. You could either get C sharp, pass an C sharp exam, and an MVC exam. Uh, in uh, Microsoft language that will be the exam called 7483 and MSC is 7486 or you could pass the MSC or HTML Five plus JavaScript and C CSS in Microsoft language. The, the, the number of that course is 7480. So, those are the two alternatives to get MCSA. That is uh, like a prerequisite for getting the MCSD so if I just draw an arrow there to MCSD to get the MCSD you have to pass 7487 that is uh, an Azure exam so that is the road to get to this, you will uh, have to make an estimation about how much time you have to invest. So for me it took like approximately 120 hours to, to cram for those exams, to test the different parts of it uh, uh, with code. I had a GitHub repo for that. So, uh, I will not just cram it to, to get the knowledge, but actually get the touch of, of it, how to use it in practice. So, it will look like 120 hours. That's an estimation of time. Uh, and uh, if we look at the cost, for example, Microsoft have, has an uh, official practice exam that you can buy. I think it's from Measure Up. And those costs, like uh, depending on, on if you are going to have access for like 30 days or 60 days, I think if uh, it is for 90 days, uh, sorry. 30 days it's like $95 and uh, so price uh, it's, it's a very good thing to, to get an exam for a test for a practice exam at least for uh, either C sharp or MVC or MVC HTML5 for depending on what you choose here so then at least two of them uh, the Azure part it's uh, I, I might say that uh, it's better to be more practical when uh, you are practicing for for the, the 7487 exam so the price is like $200, but then we have to take also into consideration that you have to pay for the exams. 
um, if uh, you are going to succeed with all the exams and don't have to do a retest then it's like 115 dollar or 150 yeah, I think it was 115 dollars uh, per exam so that would be three times 115 dollars so in total to just make a, an estimation it will be like 500 45 dollars in total and that is if you succeed at the first at your first try so be prepared to fail so make an estimation to seven hundred dollars to be on the safe side if you need to to have a budget on on this so this was like the road theoretically i will briefly give you some some hints at uh, what i think is uh, uh, good to take into con consideration when you are practicing as i say those practice tests uh, practice exams that you can buy from measure up they will help you to to understand to get a correct view of how how the real exam works uh, how how it's built up so that is uh, a very very good investment so when you are getting there on on the day for doing your exam uh, you already will know okay i i know how how this question format works so and uh, also i think it's very good that you are actually going through all the requirements on uh, Microsoft official website on each of those exams like 7480 for HTML5 7483 for C sharp and 7486 for MVC and when you're looking at those pages you will see the requirements and I think I have to, to break the news for you. You actually have to know everything. You have actually to go, go through everything. Because you, you don't know what, what kind of question will be there. So you, so you really have to have a, quite a comprehensive knowledge about all the parts. If it's MVC, if it's C Sharp or if it's uh, Azure so be very well prepared don't think that you can cut corners so to speak and um, depending on, on, on the requirements they might change by the time and there are some things that maybe you will think like oh uh, this, this, this is that technology well like WCF uh, that was at least a requirement in, in the Azure exam uh, when you're looking on Microsoft's uh, website. So, and, and that's considered by, by some people to be dead technology by now. Uh, we don't use that anymore. Uh, but uh, if, if the requirements is on the list, you have to practice it to be well prepared. So if you have any question, you might post it as a comment. Um, if I do not answer it, it might be because of NDS, like uh, non-disclosure, NDA, <laughs> non-disclosure agreement. So they are, uh, uh, it's, it's a good thing to know that uh, when you're doing those exams, you cannot say anything at all about them. Uh, I can just tell you what I what is already publicly available on the website on Microsoft official websites. Uh, but anyway, it can be quite a jungle. So so even if it's publicly available, uh, it might be good to have some guidance. Uh, 
and uh, while we are at it, I will make an, a correct, a correct form thing because uh, the price for the exam is actually one hundred sixty-five dollars. So uh, anyway, this 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 it, it will be more like seven hundred seven hundred bucks anyway. 